Alrighty man, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Forza Horizon 4 Will Spin Build. And today, as you guys can see, man, we are in the 2019 Corvette ZR1 that we did just build up in yesterday's episode. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. If you didn't watch it, love to check it out. It actually wasn't even a Will Spin Build. It was a, a Versus Build. We, you know, we just fully built it. It you know, currently pushes 1100 horsepower. So, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to go check that episode out, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. It looks pretty good. But in today's episode, uh, I wonder if most of you guys remember, I think it was like the last Will Spin build video that we did. We had got the Shelby GT350 R uh, from a Will Spin. And I did say that we were going to build that guy up. So, we're going to go ahead and build that guy up today. We're going to get that but yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and build up this uh, Chevy GT350R. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. And I just passed. I just realized that. But yeah, hope you guys do enjoy uh, because this will be. Uh, hopefully, it's decently good. Anyway, like I'm a rage quit this point up there yesterday, so and, yeah, it was still pretty fun. Let's go ahead and let's get this GT350R. I'm going to go ahead and build this guy up. There we go. Chevy GT350R. It's going to take that. I'm going to get this guy to look all the way up. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good, too. So, you know what I'm saying? We got this in a wheel spin build. I mean, a wheel spin, um, what was it? Uh, last week, I think it was. Or whenever the last uh, wheel spin video was done, that's when we uh, got this guy. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and build this guy up. Some of you guys have actually been waiting on us to actually build this up. So, I decided to go ahead and do it today. I was going to build that other Camaro that came in the car pass. I was going to build that up today. But, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll build this up. All right, so the twin turbo supercharger. I may go to twin turbo skis. It's actually a little lighter. So we're gonna go to Twin Turf Keys. Uh, we can swap the V, oh, that's the Viper V10. We're not gonna do that, of course. Wait, Ford, what? Oh, look. I didn't know. Oh, it really doesn't change too much. It just changes the material. Like, what kind of material is that? It looks like it only does is change the plastic and it, that lip changes a lot. Like that lip, it loses a lot of the lip. Let me see what it does. I'm guessing it adds weight. Yeah, it adds four pounds. All right, we'll pass on that then. Ooh, hold up. I kind of love the, you know, the regular stock GT350R wing. How does adding the, how does adding the regular Mustang wing or the regular stock Mustang wing add four pounds? If this wing is bigger, I don't understand that. Like, is the material different? Is it really that different? Damn. I kind of want this. Oh, it, it's a bigger wing. It's way bigger than the regular wing. Oh, that's why. That is not the regular wing. I kind of like how that looks, though. Okay, we know what's real estate stock. I'm, I'm going for a bullet right here. You know what I'm saying? We need something that's good. Base tire compound is already on. 325s on the front. 335s on the back. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. It's fully tuned the transmission of the fuel up. We're gonna go to the handle. Get these brakes on there. Race brakes. And then go to the race anti roll bars. And I may end up going with a full weight reduction because we are 30, oh well, we're 3,500 pounds. I thought we were 3,700 pounds, but that puts us at 2,900. Now, I think this car is actually pretty good when it comes to weight distribution and stuff, so it won't really have a ton of wheel spin uh, with the weight being that low. So we should be good. We should be good. Let's go ahead and fully tune the engine. Or should we stop at a certain horsepower range? I'm, I might just fully tune it. Let me see, what are we? S2? Yeah, yeah, we'll just fully tune it now. It's kind of too late to even go back. But that just leads me to believe that we're about to be doing a lot of races against some, um, some if you really use some, some exotics and stuff, man. It's about to be some snip. All right, so here's the final setup. 1,074 horsepower, 2,900 pounds. That is actually going to be pretty hectic. This one. You know, whenever we usually have, you know, weight, you know, body weight like this. I mean, not body weight, but whenever we have uh, the weight of the car, you know, under 2,000 pounds, and then we got 1,000 plus horsepower, it's like, it's just, 
Wilson Central, you know what I'm saying? Wilson City. So, I don't know, man. We're going to find that in a second. This is the same page, all right? Ooh. See, man, this silver with the red and the black. Oh, God, I love it. Love it. I think I went with this paint job before. Um, when I did this build of Forza Horizon 3. Kind of like this black with the white. But I may go with this one right here. I really like this, bro. This just looks like it's just too neat, bro. I gotta go with that. Alright, should we go with a carpet from the hood? Prism color hood. Really. That kind of defeats the purpose of the stripes. The stripes are only on the hood anyway. Oh no, they come off once I do this. Okay, alright. You know what? I'm actually fine with that silver. That's actually a pretty nice looking silver. We're gonna go with straight carbon fiber. We can't change the mirrors. I know we can't change the scale either. Go with a deep black for the rims and black window tint. So really, it's like a, a gray and a black color. Not too bad. Now we need to go ahead and see how it does racing. Uh, we're gonna do it a couple sprints. I guess we'll do like three sprints, you know, best two out of three. We'll see how this guy does. Gotta get a tune on here, all that good stuff. We're basically done. We done built it up. It's nice. So let me see what we can find. Let me see if I can find us a race to do. We're gonna be doing the street. In. No, not street scene. Where is it at? I think I passed it. Go, go, there we go. Right, so this actually might not be a bad little one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go uh, straight ahead like this and go around so that I can try and get a tune on this for. I already right, know these gears are pretty long and we are in the one the right way. Alright, so recalculating yeah, These gears are definitely long. I'm in the first gear doing 180 miles an hour already. It handles pretty good already though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, look at that handle is really nice. It definitely just needs a little bit more. It just needs a little too on here. Yeah, nothing, nothing too serious. Like, I'm, I'm loving it already, bro. I'm loving it already. This is a nice GT350R already. But we, we kind of already knew it was going to handle like this. I'm going to go 27 in front, 32.5 in the back. I did not mean to back out. See, these gears are just too damn long, bro. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shorten these. I'm going to shorten these gears up just a little bit. So, we can get a little bit more speed or acceleration at speed. A little bit more acceleration. I mean, we do got a thousand horsepower, so let's use some six gears. You know what I'm saying? 216. That may actually be a decent top speed. Let's see, I'm gonna go with like maybe a 320. 225. That actually may work out right there. I did not mean to back all the way out. Um, maybe two point, maybe two, maybe two. All right, we're gonna leave that alone because it feels like it's fine. I don't think I need to change. We'll see once we start going around these curves coming up. Let's get these. Let's get these springs a little stiffer. Literally just gonna stiffen them up just a little. Ride height all the way down. Gonna soften up the rebound stiffness in the front only because I, I realized lately that I've been touching the rebound stiffness in the rear and it's just been making my the rear of whatever car like real bouncy. It's just not. Oh yeah, there we go. A lot better, accel lot better acceleration. Coming up out of here. I'm liking this car already a ton, bro. Oh sh! Ooh. What happens when you're not paying attention? Alright, let's bring back this up. Here we go. A little drift in there with this, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, come on, no, no, no. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I was, trying, I was about to actually drift around this corner, too. I don't know how the hell I ended up off the side. Yeah, that, that damn car just screwed me up. Alright, this is not a drift my build, though. Let's see. 
see how the rest of this team does. There's the See, I was about to say, sure this is with us, but that's only because I was a third year before the drop, so. Ooh, okay. Sliding a bit there. May need to have a little bit more camera all around. Let me see if I can see if I change that right now. If that'll change anything. Alignment will go at negative five all around. We're at negative five. Because you know we really Ooh, that's a lot better. Okay, got a little square in there, second gear for the throttle with this not feeling. You have arrived at your it's destination. It's gonna be a pretty good build, man. Let's go ahead and let's tackle it. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, I can move. Okay. Can I change the. Yeah, create a blueprint. There we go. Track toys. Wait, did GT350R the track toy? How interesting. How interesting. Ooh, that's a lift. Oh, we can change the route. Hold up. Nope. Oh, I thought. Alright, uh, early afternoon clear, rolling. I just want to make sure all this is. Good. Yeah, we're not in the winter season, so that's fine. Right. Yeah, this is a track toy. That's crazy. I didn't even know this was a track toy, but you know, whatever, man. All right, let's go ahead and tab on out for a split shacking. I already know, man. I gotta avoid them strikes at all times. Gotta avoid them strikes at all times. All right, well, let's see if we can pull off the first W with this GT 350R right here. Hundred miles an hour in second gear. Okay. We got to move on to speed fast, all y'all. Yeah, just like that, just like that. Look at that man, cornered like a G. Take the brakes a little bit. Too good. Man, this thing handles exactly how it did on 4003. Oh, he tried to aggress it on us. You know what I mean? Come on, now let's make some room. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we need to find that. I probably should have did this. Um, I probably should have did a versus episode for this. Oh, he saved me. He saved me. He saved me. Cause I was definitely about to speed that up. I don't know why I thought I might get this. And then fourth place, we're gonna definitely like give a little bit better. We're gonna get a podium and finish up. Turns to some good use. There we go. Oh! Jeez, it's like I just don't be breaking enough. Oh my, okay, we be lining that. Look at that, all that wheel spin right there. Oh my. It's like I couldn't grip for some reason. They done got a little distance on me. Oh man. Come on now. We can't have the first race be an L. Oh, I did not see none of that breaking line. This is why I don't do none of my races in first person. I did not see any of that breaking line whatsoever, and I was not looking at my map. That's why I don't do too many races in first person no more. Oh, I should have done that. I was not going to do Looks like we're probably going to get a fourth place finish. I mean, a first, fourth place finish. We're not going to be able to catch these dudes. I don't know what the hell they're driving. One of them dropped it. How do we miss that, bruh? That's, I think they really should update that, bruh. Like, I literally, like, still tapped the damn uh, checkpoint and didn't get it. Like, that happens a little too often now. We just got four plays. We're, 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 okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that, bruh. Like, what the hell? I 
can already tell I'm having some bad luck with this build too. Jesus, man. I feel like, bro, man, my driving skills just might be going down the drain again. I, I know this, this is, this, for some reason, this happens quite often whenever I'm playing racing games. I always can perform really well in a racing game for a certain amount of time, and then when I don't play racing games for like just two, three days, I come back and I can't win races to save my life. Like every race that I do, I catch an L. It's like, man, that's literally what's happening now. Same thing happened with the Corvette video yesterday. I won one race, and then after that, every race after that was like just an L, but I just could not win. Just kept having issues. So, seemed like that same thing might be happening today. Um, we'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. Just seems like I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have too many good luck with some of these builds. You know what? Maybe, let me see. I'm going to make the rear on this a little bit softer with the rebounds difference. That might be what I need to do. 400 yards. Turn left. Bounce. I mean, it's not bouncing, but it was stiff as hell back then. Turn left. All right, hopefully that just might have changed the level fix to this I don't know, man. We're actually getting up to the top speed with this guy now. Okay. Oh, what I'm talking about. Pushing them Four hundred yards. Turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Alright, let me get some first person action. So yeah, man, if you guys start Turn seeing the, some Forza videos where I just don't do too good at all, then that's more than likely why. And chances are, usually whenever I have too many failed Forza build videos, or too many failed Forza videos in a row, I just stop playing the game altogether for like a good month or two. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. That's why... Well, I think it was November or October. No, no, it was November. I spent like a whole three weeks why I didn't post a single Forza video. And that, that's you have arrived at your destination. That's kind of why. It's like I, I just wasn't doing good on Forza, so I said, bump, and I ain't gonna play this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It is I did. Okay, Start this up. So if we catch an L this time, then we already know that this car is an L. Or at least the, the version of my build. And yeah, that'll also let me know that I need to stop doing these build videos and I won't be posting for it anymore. Okay. Corvette right there. Hello. Oh, hello. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, the hell kind of like, no, no, no. All right, then we're going to that first place position. See, I knew this GT350R was not no L, bro. It just would have been my team that would have been an L. Like, man, I try to do, I try to do some decent tunes. I just can't tune to save my life. Ooh, Come on, now grip up, jeez. Try acting like you didn't want to grip. Oh, no, no, no. Shit. Yeah, we slid a little bit back there. Definitely could be a little bit better without that slide in that shit. Boy, these dudes are on my ass, bro. Like, look at this shit. Back, back. Yeah. These dudes are on me, bro. They won't, they won't let me breathe. Oh, too much brakes. Yep. Too much breaking that's causing my turn to be all that. But they is on my ass, man. Back, back, son. Damn. 
Jesus, bro. All right, so we got one, one. We got to do one final race to see if this build is a W or not. And I got the easy plan, so I got to hurry up and go through this. I almost forgot, and I, uh, man, I'm probably going to cut that out now that I'm going to play the decent amount of the song. And I'm trying to talk over it so I don't get striked. There we go. Whew. Jesus, man. All right, let's find us one last final sprint. And it looks like we might be able to do this one right here. Oh, this might be the perfect one, too. All right, so this will be the final sprint right here. Let me let us know if this, is, uh, if this is a decent build or not. Or if my tune is a decent tune or not. Anybody can build the car all the way up to be full of go. It just depends on you know, how, how the tune is. So how does the tune work? Is the tune work for that bar? You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, damn! Give me something different. Maybe. We could build a car for those videos and everything. Let me know. Let me know. Cause I'll be down. All right, so we need to fit the R. Let's go and get it done. So they keep playing this music, bro. I can't get hit with no strike or nothing, cuz. Anyway, a lot of first race. One thing I forgot to do as well, I go to my audio, I gotta turn my car's volume back up. This is way too low. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually gotta, it's not actually, yeah, it's not too, too low. I gotta turn my, probably should've did that after, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, I've been doing now. My, my car volume is just not loud enough. Like, I noticed that watching the video, you can hear all the AI cars a lot louder than you can hear. I mean, a lot louder you can hear my I'm in seventh place? What the hell? Oh, we better go. Come on, try to pass. Come on. get it done. Come on, bro. It's like he was magnetizing. Magnetizing. Magnetic, he had a magnetic pull towards my car. I couldn't, I couldn't go around him like that. I don't know how to do that. Oh, come on, now the brakes wasn't enough? Shit! I was trying so hard not to lock him up. Oh, we about to get third. Damn, come on. Damn, we about to get third, no. So I don't even know, would you guys classify this as an L build or would it be a W build? But I mean, we won one, we lost one, we got third place on the final race. Mm. Really should have even got third, but you know, man. 
it is what it is man but with that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy this right here build on the gt 50 r man we finally got around to doing this build for you guys if you guys did enjoy this so go like down below hit the subscribe button if you haven't already that's what you me at this man snapchat and so we're going to check the description down below and i will catch you guys in the next episode or last video